Hello there. You know, in this COVID-19 pandemic, many people are using Zoom for online video meetings. These meetings now are the target of what is called Zoom bombing. This is a cyber attack where the bad guys are trying to break into your video conference to disturb your meeting and they could steal some valuable information and secrets. So let's work together and let me show you some settings that you can do to secure your Zoom meetings before you become a victim of a cyber attack. So let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll talk about some uh, tips and some security measures that you can take in order to protect your meetings and to keep the Zoom bombers away from you and your guests. So the first thing you need to do is just log in to your account, to the Zoom account. You can use your app or you can log in through their website. So here is the app, my app, and here I am already logged in. And you can start looking for the settings here. Click on this small gear at the top corner and this will take you to this window. Go down here to view more settings as you can see here. Okay, this will move you to this web page. So at the top, it's asking you to download the latest version. This is a very, very important thing to do. Download the recent update and the recent update here is 5.0 or 5.01. This has a big and significant update and it has a lot of security enhancement. So go ahead and use this latest version. And by the way, this version is using uh, the GCM encryption this is an authentication and encryption algorithm that is encrypting your communication end to end and no one can intercept your communication. So this is number one. Now go back to your website here to the settings and now click on this option, the settings on the left hand side here. Click on settings, you will see these options here. So let's start with the first option to turn it off, which is join before host. Turn this off as this, okay? Turn this off. Do not allow anyone to join the meeting before you join it, okay? To keep everything under your control. This is number one. Number two, do not share the PMI, personal meeting ID. Instead, you need to use a separate and new link for every meeting when you schedule a new meeting, okay? And all the time you need to enable the password. So that's why turn this option, use personal meeting ID when scheduled, turn it off as you can see here, off, okay? Now, every time you are scheduling a new meeting, you need a password to be shared you need to enable the password as we will talk in a few seconds. Next, scroll down and here, only authenticated user can join meetings from web client. Turn this on and this will give you another layer of security and protection. The user need to use their credentials to access your meeting. They need to log into their Zoom account first to be able to join your meeting. So turn this on. Now here require password when schedule new meeting. This is what we talked about. Check this one, enable this, and here is the password. So you can change the password by clicking on this icon and you can change it. This is what you want to share with your students or your guest when you invite them okay so uh, this is the thing next turn this option on require a password for instant meeting as well and scroll all the way down here to require password for people or participant joining by phone as well turn it on even if they join you by phone they are required to enter a password that you shared with them another important thing private chat if you are in a classroom and you don't want the student to talk to each other one-to-one -one, so turn this off do not allow them to talk to each other you can talk to them they can talk to you but they cannot talk to each other but even though they can see the public 
messaging that is going on turn off any features that you don't need so like file transfer turn it off this will prevent some problems and this will help you to mitigate the risk of some threats some cyber threats like transferring some harmful files so turn it off scroll all the way down and here is another important one and here most of the zoom bombers are using this to share their screens and to share some improper images so you can just make this either off to not share or if you want to share just make this option as a host only just you can share them again turn off any unwanted or unneeded features like annotation and whiteboard turn them off and this will help you to reduce or to mitigate the risks this one is uh, another important one if you kicked out any unexpected or any zoom bombers or any intruders then you don't want them to rejoin the meeting again so that's why if you kick them out then they will not be able to rejoin so turn this off you see that turn this off this is an important one as well again virtual background if you don't want it turn it off you don't want to see some images or some backgrounds that you don't want to see from the zoom bombers so turn this off this is a big one here waiting room turn this on this is very important one here the attendees will join the meeting and place in a waiting room so you will see the list of the people and you can admit them or reject them or uh, decline them so this is a good filter that you can apply and you can see who is invited who is not and you can check those things okay so these are the most important things let's switch to our meeting and let's start let's say we can start a new one so you can start by scheduling one which is very recommended and here you can click and you can name your topic or the zoom meeting title and then date and time here you can use this one which use this option and do not share your personal meeting id just generate auto meeting id okay auto meeting id and it's required a password you can change the password here and you can share it with others you can go to advance and here waiting room that we enabled you can enable it here as well make enable and uncheck this one do not enable this one and you can schedule it now let's say that we have a meeting and we join the meeting here and here you have a new feature as you can see this tab security so some of the things that we covered you can change you can enable waiting room again you can uh, enable or disable the screen sharing and the last thing that i want to share with you which is a very important one is you can lock the meeting so if you click on the participant here you can see the list of the people that are joining your meeting if you see that all of them all the expected people are here then you can go ahead and lock the meeting so now no one else can join so this will put you in a safe side and you can uncheck it if you want to invite any other people okay so this is the uh, some of the security measures that you can apply and uh, be safe and by the way this is not enough to keep you protected from every expected cybersecurity threat so you need to make sure to secure your network your router your wi-fi and here is a video that i am recommending to uh, watch after this one i am talking about some some security settings that you can apply to uh, your router thank you for watching and see you in the next video.